Now that we have our face mesh, we need something to put on it. Spark includes a couple hidden assets for the face that are really nice to get started with. To find them, go to Help, Open Welcome Screen, and in the Learn tab, scroll down to this link here, the Face Reference Assets. Clicking that pops over to a page in their documentation, and you can see right here you have a masculine and feminine face texture on a face mesh. You can click here to download a zip of all the assets, and there is the face mesh, and it also includes a head object, which is really nice if you need to put something behind or around a head. So I've already downloaded and organized all those in my own folder structure. So you need to grab that zip, unzip it, and then take this face masculine JPEG and just drag it down into your assets. Now, nothing happens just because this is a texture. It's not a material. It's not in the scene yet. So if you click on the face mesh, you can add a material. Now you can see I have this gray material, but we need to add the texture to it. So just double click here. And then I always like to rename everything. So we'll just call it matte face and change it to face paint. It looks a little strange here, but once we add the texture, you can see that face masculine texture has been applied to me, but you can still see my face underneath it a little bit because it's a face paint versus say a flat texture. The differences aren't super huge, but this just lets a little bit more of that detail come through.